Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I unlocked another swanky sideshow, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go over to Poisonous Pipeline and they immediately plop you in this water. You're like, oh, I'm gonna hold right and, you know, let's, let's make some progress. Oh wait, I'm going left! Yeah, when you're in the poisonous water here, it reverses your left and right controls. Like when you jump out of the water, holding right will make you go right. When you go into the water, holding uh, right will make you go left. Watch this. See that? You can actually see the transition of that when you enter the water. It's a pretty tricky stage as a result of this. As a matter of fact, um, this stage is probably one of the trickiest despite having one of the uh, simplest designs because you have to get used to these reverse controls and yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't say that because it's possible to get through this if you go really, really carefully. And when you jump out of the water, be mindful that your, your controls are going to go back to normal when you jump out of it. So. Get yourself in position before you jump out of the water so that you can uh, move yourself the way that you want to move uh, when you jump jump out of the water and you don't have to fiddle with the controls. Um, you might have noticed something during this walkthrough that I didn't explain, and there's a reason why I didn't explain it. The game's story. Now, why did these two set off on an adventure? Well, the game itself, for some odd reason, never really seems to explain it right off the bat. Well, how this goes is Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong went to do some sort of fishing trip in the northern Kremisphere and we don't know this place, it's previously unknown apparently. <laughs> and it's and they didn't come back. So we're sort of like on the search for them in this game and we come across stuff along the way that's uh, sort of making us suspicious of what's going on in the area, that there is some foul play going on and whatnot. But it, it doesn't really mention that, you know, much of Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong, and again, be very careful, even in bonus areas, because your controls are reversed in the water. But yeah. <laughs> so, all this time, unless you already had knowledge of the game storyline, like via the instruction booklet or something like that, and if you got the game used or something, you're not going to have an instruction booklet. <laughs> so, what happens is you're kind of at a loss as to what the heck is going on in this game. Because, remember in Donkey Kong Country 2, you had that random... Um, what? You're supposed to, to bash into it. Is, is there anything here? Is there any purpose for this? I don't know. But anyway, uh, in Donkey Kong Country 2, you at least had that note uh, left by Captain K. Rule regarding the disappearance of Donkey Kong, and then in, uh, um, I'm still getting used to the controls, <laughs> and then in, uh, uh, the first Donkey Kong, there was a cave with your banana horde right off the bat, which implied that something happened to your banana horde, and since it looked like there was going to be a lot of bananas in there, uh, it's implied that they were stolen or something like that. So, this is like the only game in the Donkey Kong Country series that, oh poopers, that doesn't really describe what the heck is going on in terms of the game's story. But does the game, the game story really matter in terms of like, you know, just like for the sake of uh, gameplay or anything like that? No, not really. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a side scroller. We know how to play side scrollers, and yeah, <laughs> just focus on the fun, not so much the story. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, obviously, I just ignored that letter K this time around, just to get things off to a speedier start here. Because I would like to get back over to... Hey, actually, you know what I should do? Um, I should redo uh, that bonus game to an extent. Because um, I have... I mean, I would, like, ooh, I would like to show the reward that you can get via uh, On Guard the Swordfish here. So what I'm going to do is go in here. I'm going to automatically transform. And then I'm just going to mess up with the controls again. <laughs> And just hit a Coco like that, and it'll put me back out ahead with On Guard, and I don't have to complete the bonus area or anything like that to keep On Guard with me. Uh, I would say On Guard makes this level a lot easier than it is. 
uh, because you have the ability to like sit in place such as this rather than uh, floating back down to the ground normally. So yeah. Anyway, I, I, why am I trying to reverse up and down? The only thing that's different is left and right. <laughs> it's like because I'm trying to think in reverse, I guess maybe I'm I'm getting I'm sort of kind of mixed up. And I should actually just ignore these guys. Yeah, just carefully go through the level. No need to worry. Just take your time. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm just, what? It boxes. And you could tell I was taking my time there too and everything, but whatever. <laughs> uh, oh. Nah. Overall, if you can get the hang of this level's controls, it's not that difficult of a level in the way that it's designed. It's just that it's made less difficult because they know full well that you're going to have difficulty with the controls. <laughs> so once you get the hang of the controls, you can pretty much play this level relatively normally. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I bet you could even speed run this sucker if you really got the hang of uh, the flip-flopping of the controls. I'm gonna resume over here just because I've got on guard here and I think that would be the best way to set this up I suppose. So I'm gonna just flop through here like the fish that I am. Oh and by the way, did I ever mention that if you uh, um, hold the A button you can do this, you can charge up and then release and go really fast through whatever the heck is in your way. Well, yeah, you can do that. So that's pretty handy to do, except for the fact that you might accidentally run into stuff if you don't know what's ahead of you. So be careful of using that just like randomly because you're not invincible. <laughs> but it is uh, pretty handy for uh, speedily getting through stuff. Uh, oh wait, whenever you see something bouncing from the top or to the bottom or to the left or to the right of a shaft, always go to the very edge of said shaft and then hug the wall. Uh, that'll give you the most time possible to pass by whatever you need to pass by. And let's see the reward, it's a 1-up. Well, hey, that should float up to the surface a lot faster than it normally does out of water. Because, you know, air is really, really buoyant underwater, and oh, forget it. Don't question the po oh, poison water physics, or water physics in general. Oh, boy. Okay, careful, 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 good, very good. Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. It's just a matter of uh, mastering the feel of things. But now watch, I'm going to gonna mess up just because, you know, I should have switched to Kitty Kong because he's chunkier. So, yeah, I don't like moving ones. Okay, we're good, we're safe. Ooh, not that safe. <laughs> I should have swam up, not down. Oh, well. That was my mistake, because I did the right thing in the direction that I went to, but not so much the um, setup. Oh, wait, hold on, isn't there... Oh, no, no. Isn't, yeah, I think there's something over here. Squeeze between the urchins. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> I most certainly want to get through this. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, I didn't know their pattern. It was kind of hard to tell what they were doing. <laughs> Alright, I am back over here and I have an extra hit. So. I'll be able to see if I can get through this blockade now. I'm gonna watch their pattern more closely this time to see. It just seems like they alternate at the same rate, so maybe I was I did have the right idea in oh shoot! Reverse controls, I forgot. <laughs> in that the I wanna go right after this one and yeah, like that. To the bonus area! Woo! 30 stars, huh? Oh, oh, oh boy, I don't like the looks of this. Reverse controls while collecting stars? Not so friendly. <laughs> but I must get them all on my first run, otherwise I'm gonna lose time, and yeah, this is working out well, and oh, there it is. I was wondering where it was gonna appear, but I guess it appears right where it starts, because you have to go in a circle. Uh, wow, it poops you all the way out. 
by the letter G? Wow. Uh, if there's a keg, that probably means there's coin. Yep. Uh, am I going to have to, like, probably have to bounce it off of, off the wall or something like that? Maybe. Yeah. Yep, that worked. Yeah. I think that means this level. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, I got to get myself out of the water. Is it done? It's done! Yeah! Yeah! So that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, but... <laughs> still, uh, still a pretty awesome achievement, I have to say. I, I mean, it feels good, I should say. Anyway, next level is the boss of the world, Castle Chaos. Are you ready? The final boss of the game, right here! Chaos Returns! <laughs> I've kind of missed Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Governator. Let's take him out. Oh yeah, I don't have reverse controls anymore. Whoops. <laughs> I should probably have Kitty Kong out. Uh, I'm gonna need a barrel. And I'm gonna have to throw it up to the head. Like that. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's rocketing away! It's got a new head! Help! What am I gonna do? It's shooting stuff. I kind of missed the Arnold Schwarzenegger head. <laughs> and once it stops shooting at your side, go around to the other side. And grab the barrel. Repeat. There we go. And... It's done! And a crane comes down. But who's who's controlling this crane anyway? It's kind of... What the heck is going on here? In the... <gasps> it's him! He's back! Oh no, what have you done? My wife's going to kill me! <laughs> I use all of our best pots and pans to make him! <laughs> and then you just cast him aside. Why was there a DK barrel? As if you are a stack of empty tins. I thought that's what he was. I think that's Dixie talking, by the way. What? How dare you! Chaos was my ticket to world domination. Again, not really descriptive of, the, of how this game's story presented itself. <laughs> Although they did do a Scooby-Doo reference here, I think. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's Kitty Kong that's talking, I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's whoever color the text is yellow. Oh no, I'll be just fine, I assure you. So, uh, this is known as Baron K. Rulenstein. Yeah, and anyway, your safe spot is right over here in this corner while ducking down. It's not exactly obvious, but yeah, that's it. And you gotta grab, grab a barrel and throw it while you're going underneath him. I mean, while he's going away from you, excuse me. Uh, it's... and you can only pull the ones that are, um slightly pulled up, if that makes sense, because uh, they have to be in set in place to have a barrel come out of them, basically. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. And I will grab this, and I will throw this. There we go. And then he goes all crazy! <laughs> just watch him as he bounces off the ground and the walls, and you'll be just fine after a while, because he's going to calm down. After he gets control of his somehow flight machine that somehow keeps him up in the air, I have no idea how that works because it's tiny and he's big. I guess don't question the physics and I need to get over. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot! <laughs> it's sort of tricky, but it's most certainly impossible to do. Oh, can I just like duck under him all the time? Like, that'd be kind of handy. <laughs> I kind of forgot that. Anyway, come on, move it, move it, lose it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think it's better off to wait for him to uh, go away. Once you get the barrel fall, I mean, you make the barrel fall from the top, and then uh, you wait for him to do the cycle again. Now watch this. I'm gonna hit a button. It's gonna switch things around. I'll watch, watch the floor. <laughs> things are getting serious now. So. You gotta jump across there while avoiding 
his propeller of doom, as well as his body, of course. Not all that difficult to do, you just have to be careful. Especially after uh, Ropey Rumpus, you shouldn't have uh, much difficulty with this. Now, once you hit him this time, he's gonna get sapped <laughs> by his very own electricity. And you would think up to this point, you know, he would like stop with these uh, handles at the ceiling that makes barrels fall down from the ground, but oh no, he just makes more of them come down, even though, even though he realizes full well that the barrels are the things that are doing him in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a little bit more. It's a little bit more. And he's up there. He's gonna move us over to this side. That's okay. Now we gotta use the moving platform and go under him. Grab the barrel, drop off on the platform. Now you gotta go back over to the other side too where the barrel falls down. Yep, again, he, why doesn't he just get rid of this mechanism altogether? <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> anyway, just keep repeating it and you will eventually win. Hopefully, as long as you're careful. It's not a very difficult final boss, but a final boss you have to beat nonetheless. Oh, come on, I missed. <laughs> come on, come on, go. Hey, good boy, good boy. Also, be wary of where that platform stops, because you don't want to accidentally miss your jump and end up getting zapped, you'll lose a Kong. It's not, not that all that important if you have both Kongs in this fight, because you know, you can always just do it with one, but it's just a thing of, be careful. And... Almost there! Oh no, it's going on this time! Okay, so he's got a different pattern. Oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Ah, I had to jump down. So this time, he's gonna zip between the top there, and you've gotta go under there when the electricity isn't around. And what this does is that when you hit, I mean, when you pull the switch this time, it makes a barrel pop down, and then he's gonna flop down there and get zapped once again. It's like he doesn't learn a single thing throughout the entire fight. Anyway, be wary of when you make your move to another side because, whoops, didn't mean to do that, because he might be above you and blocking your way or he might be in front of you and blocking your way. So it's a matter of getting the hang of how quickly he moves from side to side as well as um, the electricity itself. And also, I do believe that the electricity will destroy your barrel if you uh, don't grab it quick enough. Yes, I was correct. So yeah, that's another factor that you gotta take into account there. Not all that difficult, but still something that you gotta gotta focus on here. Like, I'm gonna do it right now, because it's safe, and this should be it. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought there was one. I thought that was the last hit. <laughs> well, I was mistaken, that's fine. But this is the uh, uh, last phase of it. I thought the last phase took two hits, but hey, whatever, whatever, it's fine. And uh, as you notice, that, that, that electricity doesn't really get any faster or slower, no matter what. So you don't really have to worry about um, uh, offsetting your timing or anything like that uh, as you go along. So just focus on winning! <laughs> yeah, you just plopped out that hatch in the background there, and he gave us a bonus coin! <laughs> and there's Chaos with Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, of which we didn't see all game, nor did we know we were even looking for them the whole time, unless you looked at the instruction booklet or found the story somewhere else. <laughs> Well, they seem just fine overall, so I think, I think all is well. But of course, the game isn't over. <laughs> I mean, we did hear about a certain lost world, didn't we? Eh, Cranky's never impressed. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Well... Oh yeah, oh yeah I would. <laughs> so now we get it like a photo album credits thingamabob here I guess you could say. Showing the enemies and the names of set enemies as you go. But yeah, I always found that funny about this game in that it doesn't really tell you the story as you go. Like, it just throws you right into the game and even if you 
were to say like hang around the title screen, you won't get a storyline or anything like that. You'll just see uh, clips from the game and stuff like that. So it's like, well, what's the motivation to do this? So I guess they're assuming that you have the uh, um, instruction booklet and stuff like that to be able to do so, but even so, I don't know. I mean, there, there was a used game market when this game came out, so... Mm, I don't know. Well, I guess I suppose the internet did exist too, so that's another thing. So yeah. <laughs> I already went through all the uh, names of these enemies, didn't I? Yeah, I did, didn't I? You know, I wonder if I, if that's counted as like me spoiling stuff as I go, because you really don't know what the names of the enemies are either, unless you have the instruction book. Because I'm pretty sure in the instruction book there is a. A uh, brief a list of some enemies that they show in the game and they give the names of them and stuff like that But most of them are unnamed <laughs> So this is where you would hear the names of the enemies right here Normally <laughs> if you didn't watch my walkthrough, what are you blocking? There's no Kong around you There's there's nothing to fear. There's no Kong. You're just there uh, and we haven't seen those guys yet. They are uh, uh, some some enemies in the Lost World Cuff and Clout. So yeah, there's still a little bit of new stuff left to see, as well as a certain rocket level in the Lost World, which is probably the most difficult level in the game. Maybe though, I'm not sure because I, I practice that level a lot. Uh, when I used to play this game a lot, so maybe I'll have the hang of it still and uh, be able to do it relatively quickly. Hey, you're gonna fall off the edge! Don't don't fall off the edge, please. You gotta be careful around the mountaintops because down is death, and you don't want that. Oh no, no you don't. And some of these uh, anime appearances don't really appear in the spots that they show, like Nid there. Uh, not not Lemguin, I mean I mean Nid, the one before Lemguin, and even this one right here, Minky, they're showing them in spots that they wouldn't normally appear in the game. <laughs> kind of weird how they uh, um, are demonstrating the enemies here. Maybe because they wanted to show them in a different environment than they're usually in. Buzz is everywhere, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, there's a swoopy level in the Lost World as well, that's gonna be quite a challenge as well. Overall, the Lost World I'm, I'm looking forward to quite a bit, even if it is gonna be extremely difficult to uh, finish it off. And look at this guy, look at this guy, he's... he's he shouldn't be here, he's, he's normally in the factory levels. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this goes on for a while though, so... Admittedly, I'm kind of having difficulty coming up with new commentary. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just showing the enemies and yeah. I like the poses that they uh, uh, catch with some of the enemies. Like there, right there with its mouth open. You got the toothy grin. The snarly teeth. <laughs> I'm not sure if this fish is just chunky or if it's like... An inflatable puffer fish or something like that could be either or could be either or you never know <laughs> well I guess I am sort of coming up with commentary as I go as I watch the screen and think of stuff yeah and that's the um, thingamabob that lit up the area the gleam and bream um, in that one dark underwater level yeah and now he got Special artwork for the bosses! Oh, and by the way, um, another thing the game doesn't really explain is uh, these bosses' sort of kind of origins. Uh, like Barbos, the one, the super spiky urchin, you know, the really big urchin, apparently is the leader of these bosses. I don't know about Chaos, though. Chaos is is more like controlled by K. Rule, or I should say Baron K. Rulenstein. But yeah, um, the next one after Bleak is the one that's supposedly the leader. And may I add that uh, Barbos here is actually a she. Yeah, I don't even say that either. <laughs> so I'm kind of at a loss as to 
Um, I mean, when I used to play this game as a kid, I was at a loss as to uh, the origin of a lot of things. So, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't until um, I, w I became an internet goer that I was... <laughs> that's a good pose there. That uh, I was able to learn about this stuff. Uh, because it's just not explained in the game for some odd reason. Like, again, going back to Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, there were little snippets of the story thrown in there uh, when you talk to characters like Cranky and uh, uh, Wrinkly Kong, you know, uh, Wrinkly's uh, school, and yeah. So, this is like a pretty big oversight for this game. <laughs> I mean, granted, the game has really good level design overall, but it, it just seems like that they somehow forgot about the story. For <laughs> I mean, just imagine going through this game and not realizing that Donkey Kong and Kitty Kong were missing. It, it just made it look like that Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong went out on an adventure on their own. So, yeah. <laughs> and I think they're gonna show a bear here that we didn't see just yet maybe could be might be I'm not sure if they will uh, it's a bear that likes to destroy things I think his name is boomer but we're gonna see him very shortly actually oh yes we will <laughs> uh, there's the hidden blizzard bear at k3 sneaky sneaky hiding place oh yes Oh yes, <laughs> I think there's one more coming on. Oh no! Oh yeah, there's Boomer. Yep, we haven't seen Boomer yet. We will though. Oh yeah. Who's the crucial Kongs? Uh, they didn't really tell much about through the entire game story. That wasn't really much of a story whatsoever. Funky Kong. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess they're just like throwing sprites wherever they please in this uh, um, enemy and friend showcase here because as you know they wouldn't normally appear in these places either <laughs> their sprites would be in their own domains I guess you could say oh there's Cranky he seems happy now but oh no he's the biggest sore loser you will ever see well Actually, maybe not. K. Rule and Sign probably is uh, the worst sore loser ever. <laughs> oh, Kitty Kong. You may look clumsy there, but you are probably one of the handiest crit critters in the game, and you don't fall that fast when you're using the helicopter spin. What? What? Then how did you land without taking any. Oh, no, forget it. I was gonna say, how do you land without taking any. Damage and for oh, I guess there's no fall damage in this game, but oh forget it <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling around here Anyway, as I usually say This game was not made by me. It was made by these awesome people in the credits I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people which I hope it did It's not over yet though. Of course as I said there's still uh, more 100%ing to do in fact I don't think I reach 100% just yet uh, because it has to do with the uh, stuff you clear and the stuff you collect and yeah it's kind of kind of odd that they have the bonus music in the credits I don't know I always found that kind of odd because it's not really a bonus so much it as is it is just credits and yeah, when I when I think of credits, I think of like a closing song, like something that touches the hearts. I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, but even with uh, the stuff that I'm mentioning here, um, the game is very good overall. Uh, though there is a um, uh, pe there are people that don't like. I should say that don't consider this game the. Uh, all that good um, in this series, but I don't know, I rather like it myself. Maybe because I'm I'm focused more on like level design and stuff like that than anything else. Like maybe 
people care more about story. I mean, some people care more about story and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of speculating. As I said, running sort of low on commentary when, you know, just kind of like reading through a bunch of stuff going on on screen. Obviously, this is the uh, uh, music box thingamabob we've seen at the very beginning of the game, by the way. But there's no pegs on it. I don't even know how that works, because it just keeps going in circles and you see new credits and I'm at 84%. Yeah, I, I'm not going to beat Cranky's time because, you know, this is a walkthrough and I, I it, it's just very difficult to do such a thing during a walkthrough, especially um, when you are um, playing with the toughest code on unless you're really good at the game. But yeah, right now I am at 84% with the rating of Cool Kong. That rating will go up as the percentage goes up. But this is like the uh, record board of said um, said game. It's it, it, you see it after you beat the game. But there's going to be as I as I said more to see here. So yeah. Anyway, let's see our save file here. Yep, you can see that percentage on that as well as the the time taken on that and. Now, what if I were to go back to a stage? Is my life counter still save? No, it doesn't. What a shame. <laughs> well, what I might do is um, get a bunch of lives off camera just to be safe and whatnot, like play through the first couple of stages just to grind for lives, just to make things a lot smoother in said game. Although it doesn't really matter because, you know, I can save anywhere at wrinkly save cave and whatnot as well as using uh, save states and stuff like that but yeah you get what I'm saying here and that and I I kind of miss the life counter to see how high it would go up more than anything is what I'm saying although maybe I wasn't all that descriptive of it <laughs> but anyway I've rambled on long enough here so I'm gonna end off the part hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next parts Whee!